So for me, the most important things in life have always been family, football and coffee. I suppose over the years I've been so fortunate enough to travel so many places playing football for England. And I suppose you could call us a bit of a coffee nut um, for the amount of coffees that I've had. In fact, you could probably call us a connoisseur. But there's one thing left to complete that coffee dream, and that would be to own my own shop. I was born in 1987 in a town called Sunderland. That was where my love of football first started. I remember going to Roper Park with my granddad. Just had a real passion for football, which I think the North East is famous for football. Fast forward and now, I would definitely say my love of football definitely stemmed from my Sunderland childhood days. I went on to play for Sunderland Centre of Excellence, then moved to Everton, which then went on to Manchester City. Then I was suddenly pulling on an England shirt, which has got to be the best days ever, really. As a young girl, that's what you dream of. Competing in four World Cups, three European Championships. I did an Olympics with Team GB, and sometimes I still have to pinch myself that them moments even happen. It was all a dream, all happened very quick, but I'm so proud to say that I've worn that England shirt for so long. So I think the love of coffee actually started when I was around seven or eight. Always went to the coffee shops with my mum. I remember she used to always get a latte. Maybe the smell of coffee, not being able to have one when you're such a young age. And I think as a child, you always want something that you can't have. As I got older, I always seen it as a reason to meet up with people, have a chat. If you ever think someone's looking a bit down, I think it's an easy line to say, do you fancy going for a coffee? I think people think I am obsessed, which I am, but I don't drink like 10 cups of coffee a day. But the most important thing is that it's a good cup of coffee. I think if I have a day off, I want to have that good cup of coffee to start the day. And if it's a bad cup of coffee, it can put us in a mood. Where the coffee's roasted, stuff like that, the taste of it, the smell of it, it's so important. And I think the older I've got, I've definitely recognised the good cup of coffee compared to a bad cup of coffee. That is something that me and Jill do agree on. We love good coffee. So if we can provide our customers with the best coffee, then that's exactly what we're going to do. So with me still having football commitments, it means that we need a main gaffer around the joint, and that'll be Shelley. So I do enjoy a good cup of coffee. More recently, been with Jill over the years that we've just been to every independent coffee up and down the country. In lockdown, I was working in a coffee shop. I love the chat, meeting new people, and most of all, enjoying the coffee. So it is a bit of a new role for me, obviously, being in charge of a business. I've never run a coffee shop, so there's definitely going to be mistakes. But at the same time, I hope me and Shelley can laugh about it because this is what we've always wanted to do. And we're very excited about this new venture. Jill's been a massive inspiration for this coffee shop. She's had dreams and thoughts of it for so many years that now it's finally happening. She cannot wait. So we've decided to open a coffee shop. The question is, where do we locate ourselves? So people will probably say, why Manchester? For me, Manchester's always felt like a second home. I really like the people of Manchester. We didn't really want the hustle and bustle of the city centre. I think it's important that you get to know people and I like the idea of serving people on the way to work, maybe when they're coming home from work, getting to know how the day was and stuff like that. So I think that's very reflective of mine and Shelley's personalities. Love Manchester. Love, love, love Manchester. It's a great place to be, good city, nice people. 
when I heard that it was going to be Northern Dun when we had that opportunity. I've got a few friends who live around that area. Northern Dun ticked all the boxes for us really. It's a, a great place to be. We want to be a part of their community. We want to build a family. So we want people to be regular. We want to get to know everybody. And I think we'll settle in just great. We wanted to choose Manchester, but we also felt like Manchester chose us in a way as well. I'm from the West Midlands. I'm a mum of two. I've got an 18 year old daughter, Evie, who will be working in the coffee shop on weekends. I've also got a 14 year old, Patty. She will absolutely entertain all the customers. I've been named the gaffer, a bit of OCD, got to have everything, you know, in line, ship shape. Jill's captain, so she will have her part to play in it as well. We kind of aren't going into it with our eyes completely closed. Shelley got an opportunity where she went to work in the coffee shop and she really enjoyed it. So proud of the journey that she's been on so far and we're so fortunate that she can now transfer them skills to box to box coffee. So yeah, I've got the experience. Jill's got a little. She's been jamming on the machine trying to make patterns but she just ends up doing big blobs. But she's in training. So we were very fortunate to get some training from Ollie, who has been in the coffee business for years. He's very experienced, he's had years of practice. I think he's competed in world championships at Latte Art, so I did feel a little bit shown up when I was trying to do a heart, which looked more like a football, to be honest. Really, for us, that was really important that we had Ollie with us, because we know that we're going to do the best and serve the best coffee. <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. I think seeing the sign going up was kind of the indication that this is real now. Seeing the sign for the first time got me. It made me a little bit emotional, silently. It stood out from the crowd. It's white, it's bold, and the dream now is becoming a reality. Just seeing box to box, something that we've created, our idea, that's so exciting. There is a bit of nerves, but at the same time to kind of complete that dream is so exciting for the both of us. We had an idea of what we wanted the coffee shop to look like. We wanted it rustic. We wanted it quirky, we wanted it to look really independent. I think a lot of it was down to Evie and Jill, to be fair, I will say that they're very creative and now I've got all the hard work. So the shop's now complete, it's looking fantastic. We want all the locals to come in, get to know us. So now the coffee shop has all been transformed. We're so excited, we're thrilled. I do believe that we will smash it and it'll be a great experience. We just want to make sure that every customer is satisfied and looking at the shop today, we think it looks fantastic and can't wait to welcome people down here. It's been hard work, but it's all been worth it. Don't just think about it, come and see us and have a coffee. Thank you.